Hey guys, check it out. I just got this new delivery in from onion.io, which isn't related to the funny newspaper. This is onion.io, the makers of the Omega. That's what this box is. That's the Omega, that's the little brains of the unit right there. This next to is the expansion dock. This is the relay expansion, and this is the OLED expansion. So I just thought I'd do a quick unboxing take a first look and uh, see what it's all about. So first things first here, we've got the Omega. So on the Omega here, just a close up view, we have the Atheros processor, which is there. And that's the wind bond Wi-Fi module. On the underside, there's Nothing really of note except these pins. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This is the expansion dock. The Omega will fit into this piece. So you can see here, this is where the onion.io module fits. And then down along here, we have the GPIOs, much like you'd find on the Arduino or the Raspberry Pi, and those are all listed out as to exactly what they do right there. On the side here, you can see that you have the USB out, and you have a USB micro for power in. There's also a little switch here, you can see just on the side. I'm not sure what that switch does yet, I haven't had enough of a look at this. It's probably the on off, but I can't say for sure. This is the relay expansion. Just a quick look at this here. These are the relays, uh, which can accommodate up to five volt DC, it appears. Uh, here's some dip switches, not sure what those do yet. Uh, but one of the neat features about this onion.io is that the expansions just keep on coming. So you can add this relay expansion onto the expansion dock like that and still have access to these ports on top for the next layer of expansion. So let's put that back over here. And last up we've got the OLED expansion. This is the OLED expansion and you can see there's the little OLED right there. This, you can see, is the terminal piece. You can't go any higher up than this, but let's put it all together. So first we're gonna start with the expansion. So we've got the expansion port here, and you can see that the shape of the Omega says cut end, cut end, cut end, and right angle. That's the way this drawing looks. Cut end, cut end, cut end, and right angle in the top left. So. Let's line these pins up here. I'm not really sure how far down these are meant to go here. Let's just have a look. Now that should go, that should go pretty far down there. There we go. That is sandwiched in nice and tight now. You can see that it's flush on both sides. All right. Adding on to this, we'll put the first expansion port on top like that. I can see one of the pins is a little bit bent here. I'm just going to straighten that out. Same deal as before. This is pretty tight. It doesn't really want to go down. And of course, I'm squeezing against these little pins, which is kind of painful. I need some gloves. That's as far down as it's going to go. All right, and then last up is the OLED. But one thing I've already noticed is that the OLED is going to cut off my access to the tops of these pins. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to try to force this all the way in. Oh, and then it, it happens to be the one that slides in really easily. But there you go. That is the onion.io right there. Cool guys, well thank you to onion.io for sending this through. 
Uh, I don't have any project ideas at the moment for it, but I'm looking forward to thinking of something up. If you guys have any suggestions or anything you'd like me to try out with the onion.io Omega, do let me know in the comment section below. I'm definitely up for something cool with this. Uh, it feels like with this five volt relay, uh, we could do a little switch that turns something on or off. Maybe, maybe the uh, USB fan that I did in a recent video or maybe, maybe something else, I'm not sure. This OLED could display something cool on it. I'm not really sure. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks again for tuning in. Don't forget, if you found this video particularly useful, you can buy me a coffee in the about section below. You can support the channel on Patreon. Definitely appreciate that, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. The more you guys like it, the more I know that you like stuff like this and want to see more of it. Thanks again to onion.io for sending this stuff through. Very cool, very cool stuff to play with. Looking forward to uh, getting my teeth into it, really. Thanks again.